today's video, we have decided to hit the streets to taste some local food. So first stop up is this local food joint here who serves a krakenke with fish, pepper, and shito. <laughs> Okay, so listen y'all, this is a little bit outside my comfort zone, but I'm willing to try anything today. So we have here some macra cake, some fish, some pepper, onions, and is this shito? Yeah. And shito. So normally, you know, I like everything minus the pepper. So this is a special additive just for y'all. Just for y'all. I wouldn't do this for nobody else, but I'm gonna do it for y'all. So I will say that this um, pancake is very good. It's fresh, it's hot. The fish is good. I love onions, so you already know that's on point. I love King K and they did a good job making this King K fresh. It was hot, the fish was good, the shito was good. So overall, I'm gonna give this local food joint a 10. I paid for the food and now off to the next location. Next up is a roasted plantain right on the street. Now, generally, I like roasted plantain. But everybody makes it different, so it kind of depends on where you get it from. This is my first time trying at this particular vendor, so let's see. You know, I, I normally like my plantains nice and burnt. It's hot. Because it's fresh off the grill. And, by the way, do I like it fresh off the grill? And I like it burnt. Oh, it's good. That's right up my alley. Good job. Next stop is tasting local meat off of the grill. Now this is my personal favorite. I love local meat off the grill. So I know this is going to be delicious. Just a three seat, so why is it five now? So now I'm going to walk away from your grill, because now you're trying to play. Look at all this stuff. Oh, after that? Yeah, I'm recording. Stop. 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 So we have some local beef which is wrapped up and it's cute little outing. We have some onions and some peppers in here. So let's let's taste it. Extremely spicy, but it's really good. So have some regular beef, just cut up with some onions and some pepper. So let's have a taste. Now listen, I am one for tender meat. I do my meat to be overly hard, where you could take it and chuck it at the wall, and it's gonna put a hole in your wall. That's not what I'm looking for. So I'm always on the search for like good tender meat here in Ghana. So I'm gonna try this and I hope it's tender. So let's try. And I got some pepper and onions on that thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. I wore the right color, the wrong color for this video. Okay. So yeah, 
y'all chicken feet lovers. <laughs> I got the chicken foot, y'all. Now, it has been literally like a decade since I've eaten these things. When I was a little, little girl, my grandmother used to make these all the time. And since she passed away and I've grown up, it's just like not on my list of things to eat. But in memory of her, love you, Leona. And for the sake of viewers who love chicken feet, I'm gonna take a bite. Like just even looking at them. And I be seeing these things walking on the ground and like the way they be putting their feet in the ground. Like I'm just like, I'm not with it, but okay. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to in a, the, the outside part. Okay, not the part where they work walk on the ground, but I'm gonna try this part. Let's see. Maybe that wasn't gonna bite. One time. Let's see, y'all. This is the best I could give y'all. Like I'm trying. I'm trying. Honestly. For people who love chicken feet, I don't know what y'all get out of this. Like it's literally bones and a little bit of fat. So I don't know what the hype is about, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in here. And then we have some some regular chicken. This is my this is this is this is my shindig right here now. I can get down with this, so let's try this one and see how it tastes. Now normally it's on a stick, like a shish kebab, but he took it off the stick for whatever reason. It don't even matter. Let's just taste it to see if it's tender. Cause again, I'm at the tender meat. So let's see. I walk on the ground, they was even tender. So that wraps up today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this meat, you know, off camera, so I can really tear it down the way I want to. But go ahead and make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to tune in and watch out for the next video.